Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go from scene to scene um, in the timeline automatically without actually using the scene management feature. It really is just a camera switcher. We're gonna switch from camera to camera uh, and it'll go from scene one to scene two to another scene and uh, let's get started. So I've set up this scene with two different scenes in it uh, and four different cameras. I am going to show you the camera setup. I'm gonna unhide all the cameras. I've got four cameras. If I zoom out, you see the, the other scene. There's the scene. If I rotate the scene, you will see the four different cameras I have set up. This is scene one. This camera is for scene two, and this is the close-up of scene one. Camera one close-up. Uh, camera one, scene one. Camera two, scene two. And camera two, close-up. Scene two, close-up. So it's going to jump from scene one to scene two to scene three as a close-up to scene four as a close-up. And I've got everything set up in a single scene, not a big deal. Um, we're, I'm gonna show you how to jump from camera to camera and appearing to jump from scene to scene. All right, let's get started. Um, if I hit zero, it jumps in to this default camera, zero. My home, my home uh, key jumps to this one, this one. The way you can change that, guys, is by clicking on this camera I can go to that scene that scene and this scene so I can quickly go from this to second scene first scene close-up camera two all right so um, in other words if you click on the if you click on the on this one camera two it's the whole scene if you click zero it's gonna jump to that scene it's gonna to jump to this scene, whatever camera I have selected here uh, in the outliner. So zero is this scene. So if I wanna start with camera one, there it is. So at frame one, we're going to start with camera one. Scene one, camera one, at frame one. In fact, you know what? Let me go to my open, reveal my um, timeline hit zero and I've got 130 frames I don't know if we're going to use all of them I'm gonna zoom out move over in fact it's not 130 it's 250 we're not gonna use all of them we're gonna do each each scene about maybe 20 frames the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set markers set markers here in my timeline and uh, the keyboard shortcut is M. I'm gonna set a marker at frame one. It's right here, add marker M. I'm gonna add another marker here at frame 40, M. And I'm gonna add another marker at frame 80, M. And then finally, at 120, M. And I'm gonna end this animation at 160, so end. 160 so I've got four markers I am going to attach camera one to this marker at frame one by going here marker bind camera to marker since I have camera one selected I'm gonna bind attach this camera to this marker uh, command B you see camera one. Now on camera, on frame 40, I have another marker. I'd like to bind camera two, this scene, to frame 40, the marker, not the frame. We're gonna bind it to this marker. So marker, bind camera. Now I have my camera two selected and I have my, my cursor is on frame 40 which I've got this marker on frame 40 marker 
bind camera to marker, camera two. I'm gonna go to frame 80 and I'm gonna select my camera one close up. And then I'm going to bind this camera to marker. I'm gonna go to 120, go to the last close up and then bind camera to marker. So you can see guys that on frame on frame one it's camera one frame 40 camera two frame 80 camera one close up and then frame 120 camera two close up let's hit the play we can take this off we didn't really actually need it because we didn't build any any keyframe so hit play camera and then scene two close up close up and that's it that's it guys um, just to jump from camera to camera now if uh, if you don't want to see for example this camera here in your preview uh, you can hide these cameras boom 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 hide them all and then hit play and you go from scene one to scene two to scene three the close-up and then scene four the last close-up easy setup guys you just have to create the markers bind the camera to the marker and easy peasy lemon squeezy hey guys if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you